welcome back. Today's video is about open water swimming or wild swimming and something that I've been enjoying and I'm still enjoying now going into the winter months. But I can't be the only one who's noticed that a lot of the gear involved seems to be really expensive. So I want to share with you today some of the budget ways I've found that either help me to get my gear to my wild swimming spot or at the end of my swim will help me to get dry and toasty nice and quickly. So first of all you can see I'm wearing this onesie that I got from Amazon for about £20. It's nice and fleece lined and it's easy to get on and off. I have my costume underneath and I go along in my Primark fur lined boots which are perfect for you know getting me there and also putting on after the swim. So this is, I'll wear something like this to actually go uh, to my spot. Just a bit more info on the hoodie I'm using. I will put um, a link in the description if you want to check it out. But it's got a nice fleecy lining, which um, obviously is great after a cold swim. It's also got nice wide openings for when you're fumbling around trying to get your feet in there. These are the openings at the bottom of the legs, end of the legs. And also I look for an, a zip that moves really easily. Uh, and also, importantly, this has got a nice long grip tug on here, which you'll find really helpful when your hands are not really cooperating with you. If you don't have one of these, you can sort of do a little bit of a makeshift pull with, with some hair bands. So if you just thread it through and then you can do it with that. Now, if that isn't working, you can put another one in, which sometimes I've done. Let me zip that up a bit. You can put another one in here and just till you've got it a nice, a nice long one. And you'll find that's really helpful. Um, when your hands are cold. So moving on to the type of footwear I like to wear when I'm going wild swimming. Uh, these are the boots I was wearing and what I like about them is there are no zips, no laces, which I find very difficult to handle when my hands are very cold. There's a nice sort of thick lining there uh, and you just push your feet in. You don't need to spend a lot on these at all because you know, you're know you likely to be taking them to uh, muddy or sandy places. So they're gonna be going through some quite harsh treatment, but these work an absolute treat. Now, before I leave home, I'll fill up a hot water bottle and, and put it into a cheap freezer bag. And then I'll wrap that up. And then when I get to the spot, and I'm getting undressed, I will wrap my clothes around the hot water bottle and then they're toasty warm to put on after my swim. And just a cheap freezer bag and a hot water bottle and that will start to get you nice and warm. It's lovely to step into those toasty clothes. One more thing that I'll often take with me is a sit pad, a foam sit pad like this one, which you can get from any outdoor store. And they're really great at just blocking the cold. So you can either stand on them with your bare feet when you're getting changed, or you know they're great to sit on as well. And they certainly, certainly insulate against the cold ground. Really good to take. So let's talk about getting my stuff to the wild swim spot. So if I don't have far to walk from my car, so it's just a short journey, then I will use this plastic tub that I got for about four pounds and you can put everything in it and then what's so great is you can carry it like this and also after your swim it's great to stand into say you're on the beach or somewhere a little bit muddy you can stand in here whilst you get dry and it keeps your feet from you know the cold ground or the rough ground so obviously my uh, fr my freezer bag with hot water bottle will go in here I will take my dry robe, but I'm not obviously suggesting this is a budget piece of equipment. It's very expensive, but um, this is well worth the money. I'll put a towel in here. In here I have my swim boots and gloves. And I use these bags now that you can get in the supermarket for putting fruit and veg in because I like to be able to, it's, easy, it's great to be able to see what's in each bag. So this one has my a, a fleecy buff and a hat in and this one's got my swim cap, goggles, sunglasses, things like that. Let's push it in. And that's it. And then that will, usually I'll carry that and there we go, that will get me to my swim spot. 
So one more really great use for this plastic bucket is that after you swim, once you're all dry and warm again and had your drink, you can just put all your stuff into it, your swimsuit, swimming hat, booties and gloves and then certainly at uh, the beach where I go swimming there's a cold water tap and I'll put some water in here and swish everything around and it just means that you can rinse all the sand or the mud or whatever off your gear and you're not taking it home with you and clogging up your system with it. If I've got to carry my gear quite a way I will use this IKEA trolley bag. The reason it's so great is it's got a really big capacity but on the bottom here it's got these straps that you can put on your back. Let me show you. So let's put our stuff in here instead. So our see-through bags, towel, And this will also fit in here as well with a bit of juggling. So as I say, this is for when I need to carry the gear and I want to... This is for when I need to carry the gear a little distance from my car. So it's packed up like that. If I turn it over, you see the straps. And then it's just... There we go. Now it's really comfortable. Bag costs between four and seven pounds each, depending on where you source it from. What I didn't actually bring out to put in these bags, which I always take with me, and I'd recommend you do too, is a flask um, with some sort of hot drink in soup, hot chocolate, coffee, something like that, and possibly a snack. You want to try and get dressed as quickly as you can, even though your hands and fingers may not be cooperating with you. So I hope you found some of those tips useful. Um, I'm coming up with more all the time, which I'll share with you. If you do enjoy this kind of content, um, my channel generally covers while camping, swimming, trail running. Please consider subscribing. I'd be so flattered if you would, and uh, I look forward to sharing more videos with you. Bye for now.